That's enough kinematics. Let's get back to our definitions. Our next concept to define is acceleration. And the plain spoken definition is when something speeds up or slows down. Although I guess technically that's deceleration, but usually acceleration can mean either one. So this is the uh, simplest demo in the world. If you want to demonstrate acceleration, you just drop something. So here I have my chalk, I let it go, and near the surface of the earth, things accelerate as they fall down. So if we want to now do our graphs and equations, first let's do a quick drawing to remind us. Let's see, we had some chalk here. Right, it was at the origin, and it went down, and we'll call down plus x. Okay? In physics, we can switch things around. Up does not have to be positive. In this case, I'll write down as positive. So there it goes. Let's plot it. And we don't have the math, but for now, just trust me, it falls, falls farther and farther uh, with a higher and higher slope. Right? It's speeding up. If it's speeding up, that slope has to increase. So it looks something like that. If I were to plot v, the velocity, versus time, what would it do? Uh, let's see, at the beginning, when I release it, it had no velocity, and then it would increase. Right? The velocity increased as it fell. That's what it means to accelerate in this case. And if we were to plot the acceleration versus time near the surface of the Earth, the acceleration was constant. So that's a quick plot of basically what it would look like. The only error in this plot, I would say, is the slope should be coming to zero at the origin. So let me make that. There you go. A little bit better. All right. So that is the plots. So let's say the object has acceleration. Which, a more technical definition, is the rate of change of velocity with time. So we denote it with an a. It is, of course, a vector. because It is the uh, change of a vector. So it also has to be a vector. And it's in the MKS unit is oh, meters per second squared, like that. That's it. Now, in terms of definitions, uh, we do have the two different kinds of acceleration. Just like we have the two different kinds of velocity, we have average acceleration. So if you want to think about it over some interval, you can have the initial velocity at the beginning of the time interval and the final velocity at the end of the time interval. So you can do this, AVG, just like with average velocity. Instead of uh, the displacement here, we're going to have the final velocity minus the initial velocity. And here we're going to have the final time minus the initial time. So quite equivalent to average velocity. Or you could write it like this, delta v over delta t. You could call that the velocity displacement vector, but I wouldn't recommend it. That will probably just confuse you. Or you could think about the instantaneous acceleration. And just like with velocity, I will denote that by not putting a subscript. And as you can imagine, with the same calculus and slope and derivative ideas, it's just dv dt. Okay. And it is also true, since that's just dv dt, it is the slope of a vt curve. So right here. The slope of this curve, the velocity versus time, you can see the slope is a constant. And sure enough, I drew the acceleration as a constant. So that's our basic definitions. Now we can use them to do kinematics.